Now, Leish, congratulations on making it to the arena. First of all, I kind of want to talk about this series. Obviously, the ending was uh, got pretty close. You know, just tell me about how you were dealing with that T side. You know, it looked like you didn't really have an answer. They were kind of guessing where you were stacking a lot of the time. Just tell me about how you finally found that answer. Yeah, I mean, on our CT side, I think that we were getting a little bit unlucky with uh, some of our rotations. We would be rotating into A and then they'd B or like we'd, we'd push B and then we were too slow on like stopping them at A. So I think that we just had like some unlucky calls uh, with with those. And then after that, we just started like uh, playing more to clear out mid. And after we had mid, I think that it was a lot easier to play from uh, on those. So just like switching up those rotations. So it's not just like, uh, you know, hoping that it's B and like we stop these things in time. I mean, they, those rounds still could have worked, but uh, mid just made it a lot easier and I think that's what uh, made us pull through. Uh, did you feel like you were kind of getting called out uh, during that for that first period of those first eight rounds that they got in a row? Uh, on CT side? Or? Oh, yeah. Like us, us getting cut out? What do you mean? No, as in uh, um, like as in they, when they were they called you uh, where your stacks were going to be basically. Oh, uh, honestly, I have no idea if you if he was like calling it and read it perfectly, then you know, props to him. But I don't think that we were making any like obvious like reads or tells. I think that honestly, I think that it was just unlucky, honestly. Uh, heading into the quarterfinals, you guys have Vitality. I don't know if you know that yet. Uh, that's a team that last you lost to was the, the, the US Upper League Grand Final, the close best of five. Uh, what are you expecting this time around? This event, we've already beaten two teams that we like haven't been before, which would be like Spirit and now FaZe. So I think everything's lining up for us to also be Vitality and go on like a, a really nice run. So I'm pretty excited for it. Um, I think that their map pool is going to be a little bit harder for us. Uh, it's not like as like favorable as like uh, some other matchups that we could have had, um, but you know we're really excited to play into into that game and get another team down that we haven't been before. Um, how much how confident are you guys? You know because obviously you had that run towards the end of the end of the year, had that runner up finish at uh, at Blast World final. Do you feel like you're up to that form? You know where you could be again, kind of in a, in a place to contend for titles. I think that we're pretty close. I think that we're still like a little bit not there yet. Like, but we're obviously like easing into it really fast. Uh, you know, prior to the Spirit game, I would have I, I said that we were like a six or seven out of ten maybe. And now this game, I think that we're like seven, eight out of ten. And then if we can just like keep up that form and like fixing things and uh, like being more comfortable like in a lot of more situations, then yeah, I, I think like the sky's the limit. And we we should be at that form pretty soon. I, I'm I'm hoping that we we get that form uh, against Vitality. Now there's been um, kind of like analysts have been saying that you guys are a little bit too reliant on Yekindar, you know, kind of like if whether he's on or, or off. I mean, this series kind of showed that a little bit, I suppose, you know, had a struggle on, on Inferno. And then obviously when he turned up, uh, you guys were much more competitive against FaZe. Do you feel like that's, that's true, first of all? Um, I mean, I don't think it's completely true, but I mean, obviously, like when he is, you know, popping heads, it is a lot easier for us. It's just like when he's like being the point man, like on the other side of the map, a lot of times, uh, or like with the pack, then, uh, you know, it's I don't know. It's just like he he is the guy that is being like super aggressive and like being uh, like the point man for a lot of situations. So if it's like not working or if like the reads aren't working like from him, then it would be a lot harder. Um, but I'm not really sure exactly like that we're you know relying on him exactly like in every single strat i, I think that honestly i don't know <laughs> i wanted to ask lastly you know you just missed out on a place in the top 20 it was the first time in i think six years or something like that uh, was that something that you were disappointed with and and do you feel like that this year could be where you come back to that yeah i was definitely disappointed you know having like a long streak like that uh, definitely sucks to be broken but uh, it's also a lot more motivation to try to get like as high now that I can uh, play a, a lot better than I did last year. And, uh, you know, from world finals going into now, uh, I was hoping to carry that momentum forward from last world finals. But having a shaky uh, start to the to this year definitely hindered that a little bit. But if we could just keep on finishing well at Katowice here, then, you know, I, I'm expecting that we as a team are going to get a lot better. And the more comfortable that we are as a team, the more comfortable I am and we could play a lot better. All right. Thank you. Well, good luck moving forward. Thank you.